Now let me show you how to cook lobster the fanciest, the easiest and the most simple way. Lobster like that I served in the three Michelin star restaurant years ago to huge success. Now what's the lobster dish called? Well, mm, that's a good question. Lobster tart, lobster galette, lobster tian. It's a bit left imagination as it does not really fall into any category. But that's not all I'm going to show you in this video. There's a little bit more. I will also show you how to peel a large globe artichoke and break down a cooked lobster. And doing that all while I show you this amazing lobster tian. Now my name is Walter Traub, I used to manage, run and own some of Europe's best kitchens and restaurants and today I run my own cooking school. So let's first start with peeling the artichokes. So I have some globe artichokes. The first thing I need to do is need to check how stringy they are because sometimes those things could be grown for over two years. They could have a lot of strings in there, like you see a bit like in celery. Those strings could run into the bottom of the artichoke. And if you just cut it off there, you might have a really woody appearing, woody tasting artichoke. So I break it off at the tail. And through that, I pull out all the strings that go into the bottom of the artichoke. And so that will be nice and tender. Measure down two thirds and then cut your artichoke off with a serrated knife. Then go around it and trim off all those green leaves, the green and woody leaves. They're unusable, they're super bitter, so don't ever put them in a stock or don't cook them. Just go around and get rid of all the green leaves. So then towards the stem, I just cut it in with a knife and then I just cut that off too, just like you see me doing here. And that's how easy it is to peel an artichoke. I mean, it's pretty straightforward if you know how. So my artichoke is an old artichoke, a globe artichoke, meaning it's a large artichoke, so it will have some hay or some grass in the center. So I use a spoon, a Parisian skew, to get rid of that hay. It just sits right in the center. It can be really sort of strawy and really hard to eat. So never, ever, ever, never put vegetables or fruits into lemon water. It's stupid because all the flavor seeps into the water, all the nutrients flips into the water. You're much better off just brushing your apples, your pears or whatever it is, just with a bit of lemon juice. It's much more potent and it will maintain its flavor and will maintain all the nutrients. So at least, yes, there's a lot of wastage when you peel an artichoke, approximately up to 80%. Then use one of the super dangerous mandolins or just a slicer and slice the artichoke sort of one to two millimeters thick and then you measure it how much sort of how high your mold is and then you cut it into all sorts of pieces that fit perfectly into the mold and sort of cut them into three to three two to three centimeter wide bits as well and don't throw out any of the trimmings because the trimmings we will just steam them separately and then add them underneath the lobster so then steam that for around two minutes or so and then you go off and you just set it aside and steam off the trimmings. Then get the zucchini, lake and some sun-dried tomatoes. You have a recipe in the link below. Sharpening of the knife, it's always impressive. And zucchini is you just use the skin. You know, don't don't always buy super small zucchinis. The flavor in zucchinis is just in the skin, so that's why I don't use the center bit and then I just dice that all up. I always find it sort of really relaxing, you know, when you chop and dice the leek. I'm just going to use the white part today. Um, check out my video on leek terrain. I teach you a really nice entree there too. And then just break that open and then break it apart and then just cut up all the leek as well. And it's always very important that you cut it in really nice and even pieces because it gives it a really nice texture a really nice contrast to the other vegetables and the lobster in that dish. Okay, mm. it's gonna be amazing. So, chop up the artichoke trimmings as well. There's obviously not much cutting I could do. I have to chop them. So then the next thing is you chop up your sun-dried tomatoes too. And then we're gonna give it some real nice sweetness and acidity to that dish, so. It's quite a sort of Mediterranean flavor dish. Some thyme, I pick some tips. I'm gonna use them for the garnish as you will see later on. And then some leaves. 
I pick him as well, but just please do me a favor and don't chop him too fine because when you chop herbs too fine, they oxidize. So just cut them roughly. Okay, the highlight of the thing is now, of course, the lobster. So I'll make that video down here in Australia. So obviously I use some Pacific lobster. I break off all the antennas, I break off the heads, I break off the legs and take out all the meat because there's a huge amount of meat everywhere. And then I'm gonna use that for the garnish as well as for the lobster underneath. So next thing is just wash out that upper part of the tail piece a little bit because when the lobster is cooked those things usually burst open and are not so great and just oh it's pretty painful i can use a tea towel for that um just break the lobster open okay and then take the bits and pieces for the garnish um if you don't know what to do with the shells check out my video on lobster bisque where i teach you how to make the absolute perfect lobster or crab bisque and then just cut the tail into sort of nice slices not too thick and not too thin either and then the nice bits you keep them all for your tian and the trimmings you don't worry too much about it so let's set them aside all the trimmings you just chop them up as well and we will just put them underneath the tian as well so here we go Let's start cooking it now and get some extra virgin olive oil in the pan, medium to high heat, add in some leek. You don't want to sort of cook it too long, just like for 30 to 40 seconds, add some thyme, add some zucchini, cook that all up. Just think about the vegetable should be still half raw, you just want to soften them a little bit, improve the texture and then add the chopped artichokes, add the chopped sandra tomatoes, stir it all together. Season it with salt and pepper, and then turn off the heat, and then the last thing you do is you stir in the lobster meat. So, I'm gonna line my mold now with the artichokes that I cut before. So just grease your mold a little bit, set it on a warm plate. So the dish is actually a sort of a lukewarm dish, I would call it. Um, you know, it's not hot, it's not cold. So don't put it in the fridge, it's not that great. I often make it up and then I store it in the, in the oven just like for 30 or 40 degrees, it's absolutely perfect. So then fill on all the stuffing that we just made and then start layering the lobster on the top. And then brush it with a little bit of olive oil. In that stage you could put it in the oven and store it there for up to half an hour. And then I add some tail pieces on it just before I serve it. I garnish it with some antennas, I put some thyme leaves onto the lobster and then I garnish it with some fire. You have it all in the link below. So I put a whole heap of garnishes around. I used to make that dish for a chef called Philippe Rochard when I worked in his restaurant for a few weeks and he visited me in my restaurant in Austria and he said that that recipe is good enough to put on his menu. I absolutely loved it. And then I drizzle a little bit of lobster bisque around it which you can get that recipe. I just reduced it a little bit in a separate video on my channel. Then take off the ring and here's your lobster tian. I mean, it looks absolutely spectacular, you must admit it. It's such a simple dish and good luck with it. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Check out my video on leek terrine and see another amazing entree. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I look forward to seeing you next time.